It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, this is, was made early the, last week. Uh, I'm on the beach, so... Uh, I hope you guys appreciate this, uh, but uh, I wanted to do some for you at least, uh, to, so you didn't forget me. Uh, but today's video is on Mr. George Lindsay. Before Goober said hey, George Lindsay said howdy. He was almost typecast as a Western actor. Take a look. Say howdy to Goober. Goober Powell, the happy-go-lucky cousin of Jim Neighbors Gomer Powell, was more comfortable in a car than on a horse. Uh, you may have known how to imitate Chester Good Good's uh, walk from Gunsmoke, but you could find him pumping gas at Wally's filling station, not out in the Wild West. It's hard to picture Goober as a tough-as-nails cowboy or a no-good low-down bandit terrorizing a saloon. However, that was almost where George Lindsay, who played Goober, made a name for himself. Before Lindsay joined the cast of The Andy Griffith Show with uh, with the season four episode, Fun Girls, he did what a lot of actors in the 60s did. He found work in westerns. It was in the glory days of the small screen cowboy, and each episode usually called for new faces of coming across the dusty trail of the designed hero. Some actors built whole careers around guest starring in these shows. Heck, before DeForest Kelly was Dr. McCoy on Star Trek, he was known as a familiar western face. As a new face on the scene, Lindsay wasn't in position to turn down the opportunities in westerns. Uh, you know, when you're waiting uh, for a break, you take all kinds of roles, he said. Um, but even then, they couldn't have had me in much close-up work. I've always looked funny. Uh, Lindsay took roles on The Rifleman, Daniel Boone, and Death Valley Days, uh, among other westerns at the time. Even his role in the Twilight Zone episode, I'm the Knight, Calling Me Black, had him playing a small-town deputy. Lindsay was cut out of the westerns, though, and especially had difficulty with his uh, equine co-stars. I'd never forget the introduction to acting horses, Lindsay said. I even remembered his name. It was Old Stump. I didn't like him. He didn't like me. They stationed us up on a hill, and on cue, we were supposed to tear down toward the action. Roll them, yelled the director. Now, stage horses, they mind the director. They don't care what the actors are telling them to do. So off they went. I grabbed the horn and my hat and my gun, which I was supposed to be waving in the air. And about that time, I was about to run out of hands. Wasn't exactly an instant bond with Old Stump. Don't let Old Stump get hurt by the cactus, yelled a trainer. Lindsay said, and all I could do was pray that Old Stump wouldn't let me get hurt in the cactus. I like George Lindsay. I think he was a super cool guy. Uh, and I th <laughs> I'm going to go look for that. Uh, that. That should be good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm not doing any on classic TV or classic rock this week uh, until the end of the week. So uh, go over and watch some of the old ones if you don't mind. But I am doing some on the Beverly Hillbillies that you might find interesting if you're a Hillbillies fan. So go over there and check that out. Uh, have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you.